It was really weird last night. I had some kind of allergic reaction to Ooh. something. Yeah? And my lips swole up. How swole? I still you, feel a little tender. Did you take a picture? No, I didn't take a picture. It looked ridiculous. Like a, like a duck's bill? Not that bad. Okay, it, well, I don't know. It looked like I had had, like, ridiculous collagen implants or something in my lips. I went to bed. I was like, well, I, I figured I'll either die in my sleep or I'll wake up and it'll be gone, right? Yeah, that's that old uh, Mike Krivelik fatalism. And uh, I've come to appreciate. I kissed my son. He was asleep. I kissed him. I thought maybe this will be the last time. I kissed him with my huge. Lips. I was gonna say you touched him. To, you touched his his forehead with your comically huge duck lips. Yeah, because I had read online like you know what happens with swelling lips, swelling lips, and they're like, well, it's an allergic reaction. Oh no! In a worst case scenario, it spreads and like your throat swells up and you can't <clears throat> breathe and you asphyxiate and you die. I kissed him. I closed my eyes, perhaps for the last time. And, uh, but then I woke up and they were okay. You're going to take it easy at lunchtime? Strictly puddings? I guess. Something to think about. No, I'm not going to do that. I can still eat just fine. We're not going to be making out. If that's what you're wondering. That's off the table. Go ahead and cry now. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think orcs must die. <clears throat> is on the table, and I also think that internet hypochondriacs are on the table. Okay. Uh, you've been playing a lot of Battlefield now, too. Have you noticed, like, I mean, that game is just, you know, 30 people all lying down. <laughs> That's all that game is. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a really uh, It's nap time. Is yeah, what it is. It's nap, nap time. time simulator. You, you should be able to equip a blankie. Yeah. I think. What's weird, too, is you can lay down, which you have to. Yeah. Uh, but you can't roll while you're laying down. Oh, yeah, see, because we got hooked on that with Army, right? Yeah, as soon as I was on my belly, I tried to do the uh, <clears throat> the tap. Combat roll? Yeah, and I couldn't do it. It was frustrating. It's a must, I think, if you want to ha have that prone position. I mean, I, I guess the idea is that they want you to, you know, that's like what you're sacrificing. But it isn't like that roll, you know, is like 100% awesome all the thing but the, what it led you do was get up behind a big hay bale yeah and then roll out yeah and shoot and roll back it's very official i'm sure that really happens well, they call it a combat roll so they must do it in combat yeah yeah well, that's that's the ultimate place that's the logical destination for that roll uh hypochondriacs there's also dr beats Oh, I had forgotten about Dr. Beats. <clears throat> How could you have forgotten about Beat Beat Dr. Beats? After you left yesterday, I played a bunch more here. Yeah? Yeah, I did pretty good. <clears throat> so, Pan Arcade HQ is looking pretty good? Yeah. Nice. Um, but here, here. So, Dr. Beats, Hypochondriacs. Get to help me, Dr. Beats. Well, I don't know if it's a benediction. I mean, I, th I think the idea is he is a horrible ambulance driver. He is the worst kind of, of driver. If they got the people who drive the cars to drive the ambulance... You would win. You would win the game. You would win instantly. But, I mean, I think that Dr. Beats must have, like... He, I think that he is probably legally blind. He can't see. He probably has, like, you know, two-inch thick glasses. Or maybe he has, like, tinted windows, but they tinted, like, the wrong side. So he can't see anything? Yeah. So everybody else can see in just fine? Yeah. But he doesn't want to tell anybody. Like, he already feels a little bit weird about getting the tinted windows. Yeah, I mean, who this, who this Dr. Beats is, <clears throat> this Dr. Beats character, and why he's so shitty. At things. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a mythology that is embroidered. Yeah. Like, as soon as, as, soon as you hear that song, like, you get caught up in the, in the whole Mr. Dr. Beats experience. Yeah. Paging Dr. Beats. You want to know there's an emergency. Yeah. And just the best part about it, I think, is that everything you need to do to succeed normally keeps you from succeeding with Dr. With Beats. Dr. Beats, yeah. Right? Yeah. And you don't lose. Like, if he crashes, you don't lose. No. But it sure would be nice if he could get through. I also, I like the idea that if, if you know that Dr. Beats isn't going to make it, it's better that he die by your hand. Yeah. Then just crash. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like a, a professional courtesy. Yeah. For Doctor Beats. You so, could do three things about Doctor Beats, right? So did you? So is he? Did he go to medical school or beat school? Or that's, both. That's a fair question. 
You know what I mean? Like, is he is Doctor just like a like an honorific? Well, I mean, he owns an ambulance. Yeah. You're saying it might not be official? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's it has a green um, health Cross. symbol on it, like you might see at the dispensaries on our very block. <laughs> the green clinic. Yeah, it's the green ambrosia clinic. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking about marijuana. <laughs> I'm back now. Do you love to smoke it? There was certainly a a, a time. This in, morning? Yeah. <laughs> between eight and nine. Yeah. <laughs> where I dedicated, I rededicated myself. No, that did not happen. But Dr. Beats is sort of a complicated character. And I don't, I don't mean like psychologically. So he is like a power up in burnout crash. Right? Yeah. Who can heal you if he makes... You say, he's, what I'm saying it's not a... It isn't a straight shot. What well, needs to be for him to survive. Conceptually, yes. Oh. But I'm saying I'm saying that for our purpose... Yeah. You know, he is a, a, a character of mystery and intrigue. There's a way There's a way to get to tap into this Beatsian continuum. Yeah, I mean, if you... The idea that... That there are just people driving around, people on their way to work, who will steer through <clears throat> a two-bus pileup, veer around, like, up onto the sidewalk to and keep avoid going. an exploding gas truck, and keep going. But Dr. Beach cannot navigate a corner with a newspaper stand on it. Oh, and also, his thing is fragile as shit. Oh, yeah, he... <laughs> He dings a mailbox, and that ambulance is exploding. It explodes. Yeah. Like, it's... It, I mean, it could be... Part of it might have to do with his incredibly flammable ambulance. The flambulance, so to speak. No. Yep. mm It's hot. It's hot, baby! In any case, <clears throat> it is... It is not safe. I mean, even, even... Assuming he were to get to the scene of an of a, of an of a accident... Yeah. You would not want to get in this but thing. But the reality is that, I mean, his job, in the game at least, is to avoid accidents. Right. Which doesn't make a lot of sense because he's an ambulance driver, right? Right. He's, he's supposed to get away. Yeah, well, he, he wants to avoid getting into accidents at any rate. Yeah. I mean, they have to drive very near them. I think that's part of the job description. Mm. You know? Yeah, I mean, how easily, how easily his, his... Ambulance explodes might be a good comic. If we if we show how squirrely the other driver, like another driver is, like if you show what another car can get through or explain like what another car can do, and then you know, he hits a speed bump and explodes. Right. Well I, I was picturing a butterfly landing on his rear on his uh rear view mirror on the left. His side mirror? His side mirror. <laughs> and the whole thing explodes. <laughs> exactly. That's how unsafe. That's how desperately unsafe this piece of shit is. Yeah, you could do like uh, You could do something like to that. To get that, that I mean that might be two of the panels. It's it's a three paneler. Trois panel? Watch this. Duck 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 to beat. Do you guys know about Dr. Beats? Yeah. Watch it. Actually Mike is really good at showing people Dr. Beats. <laughs> I'll show Dr. Beats. Here, page here. Page Dr. Beats. So he's coming from the bottom. Nice. So he has to get through the intersection to take away an X. But he sucks. <laughs> that ambulance just... <laughs> he is the shittiest driver ever. Look at these fucking guys swerving all over the place. Getting wild. Come on, Dr. Beat, you can do it! Go, Dr. Beat! Go! Incredible driving. He's the only thing that can save you. And he's horrible. <laughs> so... Paging Dr. Beat. So here's Dr. Beats, right? Yeah. Butterfly? Yeah, he's, he, it lands. It lands. And then in this one, it would be just the back of it, and you're looking. Yeah, 
into the car and he looks over. Oh, oh, oh I see. <clears throat> you know the other way you could do it? Yeah, I mean, he could do that, but you could also do it the other way where it's from the inside and you see his face in the mirror. Well, I guess he would have to land on his side. Right. So it'd be like... It, 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 it could be a British ambulance, I mean, I don't know. I just thought this, like, this reflection would be interesting. Oh! The main thing is that it lands on here. Yeah, and then in this one... Tires and... Visually, I think it's... Visually, I think it's very funny. We, we have to... So now we've to show that this is Dr. Beats. Why? <laughs> Don't listen. What we have here is beautiful. Well, and you, just... can do the, you can do the song, right? Like, yeah. Paging Dr. Dr. Beats. Yeah. Uh, you got to help me, Dr. Beats. <laughs> exactly.